so the next part of the question was what do I think of Arch Linux? What do I think of Arch Linux? Someone who primarily does Debian based distribution reviews. What do I think of Arch Linux? Uh, I think it's actually really fantastic. I think that Arch Linux is for different Linux distributions do different things. For what Arch does and for the niche that it fills, it fills that niche as well as you could expect it. It fills that niche very, very well and regularly surpasses expectations in the quality of the community, which also not only uh, are fantastic um, at, at getting things written down in a formal way in, in like wikis and, 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 and appearing on forums as well, um, but also... Um, um, just in, in, in helping non um, Arch users. They, the, the, the Arch wiki explains so much beyond just the Arch operating system and they have helped so many people beyond their um, community and th that is fantastic. It's, it's a community that I am I'm quite, you know, I, I admire a lot. Um, so the niche that it fills is quite important though. Because it's not a Linux distribution for everyone. When you install Arch, first of all, you need a solid internet connection, as you do with all rolling distributions. Um, you, uh, you know, you load up your your network installer. You bo it boots you into the command line. You know, you're kind of on your own. You need the manual printed out there beside you, or at least on a tablet or something. Um, it's not the most difficult distribution in the world to install. I have installed Arch before, but I've, um, but it it. It, it, it's it's hardcore. It's designed for people that really want to, to know every bit of software that's on their operating system and they want the most up-to-date software and the Arch uh, repositories are the most well-maintained repositories that I've ever seen. I am very, very impressed with how they maintain them. I guess with the rolling distribution that's kind of part of the, uh, part of the, the benefit of using it, part of the reason why you'd want to use it. Uh, the Arch repositories include things like Open Broadcast Studio, uh, Steam, I believe, but please correct me if I'm wrong on that one. I know that it was included in Manjaro, but is it included in Arch? Um, and things like Simple Screen Recorder. Um, could it even be... I, I can't even think off the top of my head, but there is... Basically, you name a piece of software that on, say, Ubuntu or Debian, you'd, uh, well, on, maybe on Ubuntu or Mint or something, you'd have to get a PPA to install an update. Um... Arch probably has it as part of its natural course of, of software, you know, in its repositories. Um, but so, if you, and also, rolling distributions require you to know your operating system better than uh, scheduled distributions. It's the way of the world. I would say that with scheduled distributions, I know that you guys give me a lot of flack for saying that scheduled distributions are not as stable. It it comes with a big caveat. Scheduled, uh, no, yeah, the, the rolling distributions are not stable. And you guys give me a lot of flack for that. And I guess rightfully so, but what, I guess what I should be saying is that rolling distributions are really more for people that know what they're doing. Um, and I think, and not to be too critical of you guys, when you know what you're doing, it's very, very easy to assume that everyone else is going to know what they're doing. But, but they don't. A lot of people are in the dark, and sometimes it's... Um, it's it's difficult to see how far ahead um, you know you've come. Um, so with that in mind, um, Arch does fill the niche of the advanced Linux user that wants cutting edge software, full control over their operating system, not afraid to get into the config files, would need to be reasonably would need to be comfortable on the command line, and would need to be comfortable with basically reading the known issues page before installing a piece of software. Um, Arch would be very good on a machine that had a specific purpose, so then you only had a limited number of packages that you had to keep an eye out for. Um, highly customizable, very speedy, but then again that comes again as part of the, the attitude that Arch has of, of only install what you need. Doesn't come with any, it doesn't come with any bells and whistles that you don't use because you pick out everything. It is um, the Lego of operate of Linux operating systems, I guess you call it, and everyone likes it. Well, Lego is maybe a bit easier to use than Arch. <laughs> maybe maybe if uh, Debian was Lego, like Arch would be like Meccano or something. Um, that being said, yeah, Arch is is fantastic at what it does. If you are not part of um, that niche, 
you probably will stay stay well away from Arch. <laughs> but the guys at Arch know what they're doing. Or the guys that use Arch and the guys that are involved with Arch, they know what they're doing. They're very good at what they're doing. And I think the entire Linux community does owe them a debt of gratitude for their fantastic um, documentation of various bits of software that extend, of course, far beyond um, Arch itself. So that's about it for me today. Thank you very much for a what, uh, watching, although I guess most of you have probably been listening more over anything else. Um, that's about it for me today. I will see you soon with another question. Until then, I've been Chris Ware, and you've been awesome. Take care now.